70s, 80s for the last one. Using Talladega 90 version 2, I do have Seventies, eighties for the last one. Using Talladega ninety version two, I do. I guess it would help if I turn the microphone on. Hello and welcome everyone to another NASCAR Racing two thousand three live stream. I need to get a little bit more prepared with these. Got a little scan from YouTube. Welcome to the, the Twitch the stream. On. Hello and welcome everyone to another NASCAR Come Racing on. 2003 live stream. Come on, Cody. Mute. All right, there we go. I'm getting the hang of this. I'm getting the hang of this. All right. I need to change this over real quick. I don't know why that keeps... Just bear with me. I don't know why this keeps changing. I keep doing this and saving it. But then every so often that little black bar keeps coming back. Then I have to change it again. So bear with me. Alright, save. Alright. Thank you, and welcome everyone, Twitchers and YouTubers, to my 82nd episode of the NASCAR Racing 2003 live streams. God damn it, I still see a little line down there. Oh my god. You know what, I'm just... Sorry guys, bear with me. There we go. You guys get a little behind the scenes look at... These streams. Oh my god. Do you see it keeps switching back to that red? That's what I don't want, but... Okay, I guess we're gonna have to live with it, because I'm not... Changing it again. Or I'll just do this. Put it way off to the side. There we go. Why not? Why not? Edit scene. Alright, save. Alright, sorry about that. You guys got a little behind the scenes look at my streams. Alright. Welcome to episode uh, 82. Uh, for those of you that didn't see 81, go check that out. I just posted it. I got Rusty Wallace's 1993 Talladega flip on my very first try of the stream. It's probably the most exciting gaming moment I've had in a few weeks. Welcome everyone. Alright, I got everything set up. Alright, player info. We got Rusty Wallace's 1983. Number 72, Buick. The Ramada. I'm assuming that's that hotel chain. Alright, so let's go into the replay studio because we had some from last time. For those of you that haven't seen this reenactment, or not this reenactment, this uh, wreck of Rusty's, go check it out on YouTube or go check out my uh, part one. I guess I haven't done this one yet, but I'm not going to do a replay. Actually, yeah, I will. Why not? Why not? All right, give me a second. Rusty Wallace. 1983, flip. Oh. Rusty Wallace. Oh my goodness. Hold on. Sorry, guys. 1983, flip. Alright, I'm switching you guys over. Yes, I am aware. Alright, there we go. So he basically does a kind of pirouetting, spinning, and blow over down the back stretch. And flips over maybe like two or three times. That I might have to edit in after the fact, because I doubt I'm going to get the AI to do something like that. But Rusty Wallace, there's his number 72. Where's the replay? I'm going to turn the volume down just a little bit so I don't get copyrighted by NASCAR. Alright, so there's Rusty right here. He gets tagged by this car. Going a little bit slow with this. He gets spun backwards. 
and basically when he's sideways, half sideways, half backwards, kind of like at a 45 degree angle, you can see his car starts to lift up. And right there he lands on his roof, he comes back over, now he's twisting on his nose, and then he spins around backwards still on his nose, and then basically comes down and lands, so it looks like two flips. Two or three. We'll get a good look here. Yeah, he lands upside down, upside down again, and kind of spins around on the nose, and then, yeah, lands backwards on his wheels. So, yeah, about two flips, and then kind of that twisting motion. And this guy doesn't know where the hell he's going. I guess, yeah, that was kind of the 51's car for going right in front of him. That guy could have slowed down a little bit, though. Alright, so that's the wreck. Now you guys have seen it. Although you guys probably didn't see it, did you? God damn it. Oh, wait, yeah, I did switch it over. I thought I didn't switch the game screen over for a second. Alright, so we got that back. Oh, no, my laptop just died. I will have to get my charger in a second. Alright, so... Let's check out uh, the first replay we have, now that we've seen the wreck. Which replay angle is closest to the one that was on the... I guess that one. Or what spectator like. Spectator would be better, actually. Yeah, so he gets airborne. Alright, so that didn't really work out too well. Oops. Alright, attempt number two. Alright, going on the back stretch. Gets airborne. I guess kind of that was closer than the first one. Not great, but closer. Attempt number three. There you go, Dearborn. Tumbles over once. Alright. Nope. Attempt number four. Alright. I get Airborn. Flip over. Tumble once. Basically the same as the last one. Nope. Ugh, excuse me. Attempt number five. Alright, so... Yeah, I don't remember any of these, so... It's nice to be re-watching them. He kind of did a little twisty thing, but that other car was there. But yeah, no... Alright, so we have Rusty's number 72 Buick. Alright, we were using Daytona 70 version. Apparently we still have that in the track, otherwise we wouldn't have been able to load the replay. Was I using 72 or 72 light? 72. 72. Yes, I know it's not 72, I know it's version 2. I don't know why I was saying 72. Alright, so while this is loading, I'm going to grab my laptop charger. Just give me one second. I thought my microphone was off for a second. that back up. Yeah, let's try some in practice mode. Oh, except I need to switch the weather to realistic, otherwise I'm not going to get airborne that easily. Actually, 
Let me see light. I think one of these I have the weather adjusted, the temperature turned down to get airborne easier. And I need to do the 1983 season. Duh. Negative 87, yeah. Definitely turn the temperature down for this one. So I can probably get airborne easier. Let's see. Faster. I can tell I have the grip turned up a little bit because I've used this track for past reenactments. I think possibly this very reenactment right here. Alright, shoot. Am I going fast enough to get airborne yet? I don't know, we'll see. Nope. I got airborne, but not upside down. Nope. I got really close to the banking, but didn't hit it. out some cars. How did I almost miss everyone? What's the refresh button? I guess I can just exit out and refresh it manually. Maybe? Yes? No? My cheap ass laptop is frozen, like usual. Don't go over 70. Keep it under 4500 in seconds. Let's try okay. happy hour. I like getting that running start out of the pits. that speed as I'm going 140 down pit road. Yeah, I definitely have the grip turned up a little bit. Definitely have used this track for past reenactments of some sort. Oops. Oops, that's gonna not end the way I wanted. I'm gonna end up in Lake Lloyd instead. Yep. Look at that. Why does it look like grass in the rearview mirror? Do you guys see that? That's a glitch. Took a while to find the stream channel, but I found it. Awesome. Thank you guys, everyone, for joining. The laptop finally just loaded up. We are operational. Let's see the replay of that. I <coughs> that did not end the way I hoped. We both end up in Lake Lloyd. Don't go over seventy. Keep it under. Joel, you are not late at all. That was my very first attempt. I just started. Do not worry. Do not fret. I started a little bit late, so yeah, I started at like seven ten or so. <coughs> Do you know what I love about iRacing, especially in the stock cars, when you hit the brakes, you can hear, like, the squeaking. You can, like, hear the brakes, too. I like that. I don't know why I just brought that up. It's because I probably just hit the brakes and didn't hear that. A little bit rougher than his actual wreck. A little bit rougher than his actual wreck. Let's take a look at it, though. He has barrel rolled a bunch to the inside. Limit Next seven. attempt. Keep it under 
Come on, Kyle. Petty Hall. Earnhardt back when he was in the number 15 Wrangler. Awesome. I need to do his Pocono crash at some point. Someone needs to tell me how I can get airborne when I hit the wall. Is that track wall grip in the track INI or is there something else I need to do? Dale Earnhardt for the lead at Talladega. Not anymore. Minute 70. Keep it under 4,500 in second. Not anymore. Or not Talladega, Daytona. Yep, you can definitely tell I have the Trent grip up if that didn't make it obvious right there. Holy crap, I just got punted by another car. That was a big crash. I'll s I'll switch back to third person after, uh, on the next one. Man, couldn't have hit that wall at the worst spot right there. Even though I was kind of purposefully trying to wreck at this point, if you guys couldn't tell. I don't see this right here. Yeah, track grip is definitely turned up. Number 53. Is that Hut Strickland? Nope, Tan Sneva. Don't go over seventy. And no Tom Sneva was in NASCAR. I knew he was in IROC for a while. Okay, you're clear of pit lane. God damn it. Outside. Okay, merge when you can. Now. Limit 70. Keep it under 4,500. Alright, I'll try to focus on not wrecking this time. Still need to get in front of these cars to draft. I need to block them without them destroying me. Alright, good enough. There we go. I'll get airborne in front of these cars. Sterling Marlin in 17, it looks like. Gonna end up in Lake Lloyd again. Except I actually went upside down that time. Yeah, I don't know why the track grip is up so high, but yeah, I started to <coughs> flip over. Although... Do you know what that kind of looked like? At least the start of right there on the banking. How I got spawned and started to flip like that on the banking. Oh, who was it? I think it was Maynard Troyer, yeah. The 1970 wreck he had where he flipped a crap load of times. That's what it looked like. Thank you, anyone just recently joining on Twitch or YouTube. Thank you for watching the stream. <coughs> Excuse me while I clear my throat. I appreciate the support from all you guys. Hopefully you're enjoying the stream. Hey, NASCAR fan. Oh. Alright, Harry Gant, Kaylee Yarborough. Need to get one of these guys to help get me airborne. Oh, they didn't even hit me. I'm just gonna fly into Lake Lloyd instead. Once again, for like the fifth time in this stream. Eighteen times, yeah, holy shit. That's gotta be a NASCAR record to date. In terms of barrel rolls. Or just flips in general. Roof to... Roof to wheels, back to roof. Or wheels to roof, back to wheels. Yeah, vice versa. Oh, didn't mean to hit the wall right there. Ah, oh, 
damn it. Am I gonna end up in the lake again? I'm hitting the brakes. No, I'm riding the banking. Oh, yep, I drifted down. I'm in the lake. Don't go over 70. Keep it under 4,500 in second. Watch that speed now. Keep it on 4,500 in second. Okay, you're clear of pit lane. Don't merge yet. All right. Come on, Daryl. Or me. I was gonna, yeah, actually get up to speed. Take a lap to get up to speed. Nope, too late. I'm going in the lake. Yeah, my car got wrecked when I tried merging into that pack. Accidentally, yeah, the tire. Both my front tires went at that point. Or, no, it was just my left front, but I was still trying to wreck, obviously. Next. <clears throat> I think I might have to turn the grip down at some point. It's kind of affecting this reenactment. Watch that speed now. Keep it on 4500 in second. Richard Petty right here. Actually, yeah, I'm just gonna wait a lap to get up to speed. That'll help me get an airborne too, obviously. Let's bump draft the king at Daytona. 1970. Well, 83 with this car set. I don't know why with this Aero 88 mod I have such trouble with the gears keeping up, keeping pace with all the AI cars. Whoa. God damn it. I did not mean to do that. There's two cars barrel rolling. I did not mean to do that. He got hooked right there. Oh, I just got hit again while I wasn't even looking. I just got nailed while I wasn't even looking. Oh, I was hoping to get hit again right there. Who the hell hit me while I was sitting right there? Jeez. Talk about bad luck. Alright, let's see this whole sequence. Shoot, shoot, shoot! Go back. Alright, so yeah, I was trying. I didn't mean to get hooked with that guy, and then I saved it. I came back up here. Just trying to do the reenactment on the next lap. I accidentally hooked that guy. Drifted back up. He hooked me right there. Went into the wall. We both went airborne. He tumbled a bunch of times. Damn, talk about end over end. And damn, talk about bad luck with this dude right here. Who was that? Was that Mark Martin? No, Tim Richmond. I thought I saw number six. Are you talking about that Riverside flip? The one that has more than uh, Maynard Troyer's? I don't know, man. I th I've seen both. I think mine, Maynard Troyer might still have a few more. That Riverside flip is probably a close second if that's the one you're referring to. All right, let's try it next. But yeah, yeah, if that's the one you're talking about. I was trying to think of 1970. Wrecks that I've seen that have a crap load of rollovers.
Alright, let's switch out of third person or first person to third person. Maybe that'll help. Shoot. No, I didn't mean to do that. Am I gonna end up in the lake? Whoa, what just happened? Whoa, did you guys just see that? Joe Rutman is There's a taking a beating. Got one stopped up high. Jeez, leave that guy alone. Did you guys see what just happened to him? <clears throat> All right, poor Joe Rutman. Where's that number 98? I guess it was all my fault. All right. So let's see what happened to him after all this. He came back up the track. Got hit by the number 7, 11 car. Well, that's... And then he got hit by the 64, sent upside down. And while he was on his side, he just got drilled by the 74. Then he got drilled by the 26 while he was tumbling even more. Jeez. It's kind of clever, the number 7 car is, their sponsor is 7-Eleven, and they have that, like, built into the number. Alright, let's see this flip again, or this poor wreck of Joe Rutman's that I caused again from a helicopter view. Just sitting right there waiting to get drilled. And again... Yeah, talk about break dancing. <laughs> Alright, next. As much as I want to, I'm not going to save that replay. I already have way too many replays for crash comps. I have more replays than I can... than I know what to do with. Of just random crashes. So as much as I wanted to save that, I have many others that I'll eventually make a crash comp out of. Actually, slowly in the process of doing it. I just got a million different little projects going on at once. Okay, you're clear of pit lane. No hard yet. Oops. Hello, Dale. Cause another roll. Oh. I think it might need to be cloudy. That makes it, me go faster. <clears throat> Excuse me. There we go. Except I need to uh, accelerate a little bit so there's some other cars. Set that high? Or do I just suck that much? Yes, I know I'm still in third, but when I shift into fourth, I slow down. Alright, I guess I'm gonna try with this guy. God damn it, that didn't work. Going into Lake Lloyd again. Don't land upside down. He's going to drown. Get him out of there. Rusty. 
kidding. Alright, next. Not happy hour. Practice. Man, I feel accomplished with that wreck earlier. I'm probably not going to do a full hour. Probably just going to do like 40 minutes or so. So I might end this one in like 5, 10 minutes. Only because I work tonight and I want to start editing that Rusty Wallace one I just did before. Because I'm really excited about that one. It's probably not going to be out tonight, but it'll definitely be out tomorrow. The final version. The full edited version. Ramada. Shoot. Shoot. Understeer. Oh, except I didn't save it, did I? I guess that counts as a save. Except now I have no one to spin me. I guess I'll just hit the wall. Yeah, I got hit again and caused a big one. Look at that. It wasn't a save because I have the grip turned up really high, so it kind of saves itself. I'm kind of cheating a little bit. I have the grip turned up high in tracks I do a lot of reenactments on. Well, not necessarily this high, but high enough to compensate. If I'm trying to do airborne crashes at a particular track, I turn the track temperature down because that helps you get airborne. But at the same time, it makes the uh, track okay, way more slick. Can. So you have to turn the grip up a little bit to compensate. And just it makes it easier when you're fucking around. Just for the sake of these reenactments, it's a little bit more forgiving. So you're not spinning and messing up as much. But yeah, for all the races, I keep the tracks at default. How I download them. Barring a couple here or there. Yeah, that's what happens when I switch to fourth. I slow down. And that happens. Jeez. Jesus. Alright, I'm gonna try simulating a new session, see if I can get a cloudy, realistic session and happy hour. There we go. So I can get a good running start out of the pits. And hopefully be up to speed by the time I get out of the backstretch. Down the backstretch, I meant. Why the hell is the drive not working? What the hell? Okay. What the hell is going on? Oh yeah, that, this happens every now and then, a stupid little glitch. I want a cloudy session, come on. I'm gonna turn this down a little bit too. Alright, I guess it doesn't have to be cloudy because I just can always change the replay. Don't go over I need to accelerate Keep so there's some car on the track. Cars on the track. Limit right, it's probably gonna be my third to last attempt on this one. See, I did, uh, this one will be about 40 minutes and then the last one is about 20. Two different wrecks, two different streams, still a full hour. Hopefully I can get two reenactments by getting this one in the last one of the last three. Alright, no cars around me, so I'm gonna just wait till the next lap. Gonna wait for the cars four seconds back to catch up so I can get some drafting hope to get up to speed. So did you guys go Black Friday shopping at all? Get anything good? Get trampled at all? Get any TVs? Get any Kings for Grills for 10 bucks? Any shop vacs for a quarter? Did you buy a ferret? I don't know what the hell I'm talking about. Whoa. 
Oh, that guy messed it up. That fucking idiot. I see your comments, uh, stream cheese. I can't read them right now, though. I'll read them after the stream's over. I'll check out what you're sending me. I do see it, though. I do read all your comments, though. Even though I don't acknowledge them live, it's mainly because I'm trying to focus on not crashing. Because if I tried reading your guys' comments like I usually do all the time, I would end up wrecking and spending 75% of these streams trying to compensate for my failure. Whoa. God damn it. I was going to say, how was that for a crossover move until he got wrecked? That's not good. That's not good. That's probably the slowest anyone's ever gone and flipped over five times afterwards. This guy's my cousin, y'all. Check out that link after the stream is over. As much as I want to, I'm going to count this attempt only because uh, any less time I'm spending doing this stream is that much more time I'm spending editing that rusty Wallace flip I did earlier so I can have that to you guys as soon as possible, the final version. The final edited version, complete with the background commentary and all the proper camera angles of the CCM work and editing and whatnot. You guys know that jazz. It's the 7 Eleven car. Kyle Petty. Neil Bonnet. I should start reading these guys' names. <laughs> Aside from like the major guys, I don't really know the. Actually, I'm just realizing I don't really know too many people's. Uh names by their number back in this era of NASCAR. I should, I should do my research more. Do a little reading up on early 80s NASCAR. Come on. Oh, he almost started flipping. And into Lake Lloyd. be a challenge how many flips can you do going as slow of a speed as possible like maybe max out at like 30 or 40 miles an hour and see if you can get like six plus rollovers or like eight plus ten plus going at like a slow speed like 30 or 40 miles an hour that'd be a fun challenge yeah i need to start doing challenges with this game aside from the can i recreates but i that's still going to be my main series always. I don't want to jump the gun, but I'd say that's my signature series at this point. Alright, last attempt right here. Let's make it a good one. Let's not mess up in turn two. Let's block that guy. Keep this uh let's keep Tom Sneva behind me. Alright, shoot. God damn it, that doesn't count, that doesn't count. Don't worry guys, I won't have that count. However, I am gonna wreck this big pack of cars coming up because I want to. You alright? That is if my car lives from that. Looks like we're dead up on the back end. Looks like we lost that motor. Yeah, you think? Looks like we're bent up on the back end. Yeah, 
gonna talk about a slow roll. Yeah, we were just talking about slow rollovers. How slow was I going there? 22. But of course, that was just one flip. Man, who was that? Oh, yeah, the Joe Rutman. Man, he keeps having bad luck. Joe Rutman is having some bad luck in this stream. Sorry, buddy. Alright, so this will be the last attempt. Because that one didn't count because I messed it up. Don't go over 70. Keep it under 4,500 in second. Watch that speed. Now. What other series do I have? I have about 60 different mods saved in my track folder. The game only reads 13 at a time. So I have the other 47 odd ones saved in my game folder or a separate backup folder. <coughs> separate from the game folder on the in papyrus. Come on. Oh, God damn it. Oh, frustrating. Alright, let's cause a big crash and then I'm gonna end the stream, but fortunately I got that awesome, awesome wreck reenactment earlier. Rusty Wallace's his 1993 one at Talladega. That was awesome. Go check out that previous stream if you haven't already. Once again, I'd like to welcome, shortly before we get going here, or not welcome, I guess I thank you to all the Twitchers and YouTubers following me and who watch these streams. Thank you so much for all your support, all the likes on YouTube. I don't know what the equivalent is on Twitch. I'm still a newbie, but thank you so much for all the support, you guys. These videos of mine are more popular than ever. It's giving me more and more motivation to keep doing them more frequently and making better quality. So yeah, just keep up the support. I will keep up the videos. Thanks so much for everything. And let's see how big of a wreck we can get in the closing minutes of this stream. The tradition of trying to cause as much carnage as possible to release my frustrations for all my failures throughout the stream. Go in first person while we get up to speed. So, like usual, I'm gonna wreck in the trial wheel. So that usually seems like the easiest place to collect the most cars if you cause mayhem up front. Because even if they go down low, they kind of come back up the track. Although, I guess you can say that for any turn. Shoot, I want to stay in the bottom line. Oh, ho, ho. <laughs> you see that? I would have wrecked if I didn't have the grip turned up, but that still looked cool. God damn it, I guess we're going to see how big of a wreck I can cause now. Not bad. I don't want to jump the gun, but... Keep it under 4,500 in second. That blowover looked kind of fairly realistic. Not too bad in terms of realism, that wreck right there. Alright, so now let's see how big of a wreck we can cause going the wrong way. like Randy LaJoy's flip. Which one? The one race slammed into the wall or the less violent one uh, in the same race Ken Schrader flipped? Or not Ken Schrader, uh, whoa, 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 Ward Burton. Down. Yeah, why did I say Ken Schrader? All 
Brady. Let's see how much carnage we can cause. You guys know the drill. I line up and try to just fly out of the pits. I try to time it right so I can be going top speed, at least from the acceleration right here, and kind of just fly out and hit them going straight. You've been disqualified for reckless driving. Yeah, no kidding. Watch that speed now. Keep it on 4,500 in seconds. Uh, I kind of didn't time that right. Whoa. Number three car was up in here for a while. I don't have any brakes because I don't have any wheels. You blew the engine. Damn. My computer's glitching out. It normally doesn't unless there's a massive, massive wreck. With all the frames per second. It usually doesn't have too many issues. But this is an exception. Three cars, it looks like, made it through unscathed without having to go through the grass. And Richard Petty. I guess those other cars, too, made it through. Alright, well, that is it for today's stream, guys. Thank you so much for watching this one. If you haven't checked out the one I did earlier today, check that out. That one was awesome. As good as this one was, that one was way better in comparison and shorter. So for those of you that have a shorter attention span, that one will suit you guys. All right. Thank you, uh, Twitchers. Thank you, everyone on YouTube. Please hit the like button if you haven't already. Subscribe if you haven't already. Follow me on Twitch. My uh, Twitch ID is Cody H Gaming. Uh, thank you so much for all the support, you guys. Uh, I love to hear your suggestions in the comments. Uh, on YouTube is the easiest way for me to see them. Comments on YouTube. So, that being said, thank you so much again for all the support you guys until next time i will see you later have a good rest of your day peace